Corporal Sam Wilson sat in the cockpit of his F-41 Raptor fighter, gliding slowly through the inky blackness of space. He and the rest of Guardian Squadron were on patrol around the soul wormhole. A naturally occurring Einstein, Rosen Bridge that humanity had discovered linking Earth to a network of other habitable worlds light years away. The wormhole had proven to be humanity's salvation. Decades of war, pollution, and resource overuse had made life on Earth increasingly untenable. Billions faced starvation, lack of water, and devastation from climate change. Humanity teetered on the brink of extinction. But the discovery of the bridge to pristine new worlds had offered hope for a fresh start. Eager colonization efforts soon established thriving settlements on planets throughout the network, though interstellar travel and communication still relied on the unstable wormhole connection. These colonies were growing steadily, easing the burden on a ravaged Earth. Sam stared at his long-range sensors, watching for any signs of activity around the shimmering blue mouth of the wormhole. So far, his patrol had been uneventful, just like the hundreds of others he had flown. But he and his fellow Guardian pilots took their duty seriously, knowing they were the first and only line of defense for the fledgling colonies beyond the bridge. Without the wormhole, those colonists would have no way to reach each other or Earth. Guardian Squadron Headquarters on Outpost Station Archimond orbited near the wormhole entrance. The station bristled with defense platforms and cannons to protect the all-important passageway. Sam's squadron provided roving fighter patrols to intercept any potential threats. But until today, that possibility had seemed remote. Guardian 5. This is Guardian Leader. Sam's radio crackled. We've got movement near the mouth of the tunnel. Looks like a small transport convoy. Five. No, six ships. Moving fast from Vector 2. Niner. Five. Intercept with caution. Copy leader, Sam responded, pushing his throttle and moving to intercept. Adrenaline flooded his system at the chance for action after so many dull patrols. Whatever these contacts were, they clearly hadn't come through the wormhole from any human settlement. That begged the question, where did they originate? As he closed on the coordinates, Sam's sensors painted the targets in a holographic overlay on his cockpit window. He could see the ships clearly now, still some distance from the wormhole. They were long, silvery-hued vessels, unlike any human designs. Scans showed them radiating heat and electromagnetic signatures far beyond expected levels. Unidentified convoy. This is Earth Defense Force, Sam transmitted. You have entered a protected zone. Power down your engines and identify yourselves. The ships ignored the hail, continuing their approach at high speed. Sam could make out some sort of glow emanating from specific points along their hulls ports for energy weapons. His pulse raced. This didn't look like any peaceful first contact. Unidentified ships, power down your systems immediately or you will be fired upon, he warned again. When there was still no response, he opened a channel to Guardian Leader. Sir, they aren't responding to any hails. Reading multiple high energy weapon systems, request permission to engage. Affirmative, Guardian Squadron weapons are free came the order. Take them down, but try to disable rather than destroy if possible. Sam's HUD flickered as it received data from Archimon's sensors on the best attack vectors. He armed his weapon systems and picked out the lead alien craft, swooping in on an intercept course. His pulse cannon flashed, loosing searing bolts of plasma. At the last instant, a shimmering energy shield flared around the alien ship, absorbing Sam's shots. He banked hard, dodging return fire from the craft's own directed energy weapons. Their molten beams sliced past his hull, missing by meters. The slick alien ships were faster than they looked. All around, the rest of Guardian Squadron had engaged the intruders, to similar lack of effect. Their pulse cannons, railguns, and missiles detonated impotently against the alien shields. 
No damage. Their screens are too strong. Reported Guardian 3 over the comm, jinking and rolling to evade blasts from the nearest alien's turret gunners. New target, aim for their engine cones, Guardian leader said. Concentrate fire there. Sam looped around, lining up a ventral shot on his quarry's glowing drive section. He waited for his cannon to cycle up to full charge, then let loose. The overpowered blast splashed over the alien shields, which flared brightly, but held. But under the barrage, their azure glow became intermittent. I've got a shield breach on number two, Sam called. He switched to heavier warhead missiles, acquiring a lock. Fox three. The projectile streaked away, detonating against the weakened barrier in a crimson fireball. When the blast cleared, the alien's engine housing was a shredded ruin leaking plasma. It spun out of control, heading away from the wormhole. Around the dogfight, the other guardians had managed to disable two more of the intruders the same way. But the remaining three pressed their attack, converging on the wormhole gate. Sam shared a glance with his wingman. If any of them made it into the tunnel, there'd be nothing to stop them from jumping to one of the colonies and catching the settlements completely unaware. They had to be stopped here and now. All units, target the remaining hostiles and take them out before they reach the wormhole. Guardian leader said, having clearly reached the same conclusion, get missile locks and fire on my mark. Sam flipped his raptor end for end, acquiring the rearmost alien frigate in his targeting system. The aliens had stopped firing clearly intending to make a run for the shimmering tunnel mouth at full speed. He selected his last pair of heavy torpedoes. Locked on, he reported tersely. Around him, the squadron's few surviving ships took up attack positions. Mark. Sam loosed his weapons, along with the rest of Guardian Squadron. A dozen missiles streaked in from all angles, homing in on their targets. The alien ships swerved and jinked, trying to shoot down the incoming warheads or evade them. But confined by the tight space near the wormhole, they had no room to maneuver. One by one, the frigates erupted in brilliant explosions as the heavy torpedoes breached their shields and tore them apart from within. Guardian Squadron roared through the fireballs, pursuing any remaining debris that might still pose a threat, but there was nothing left intact. Guardian Squadron, all hostile contacts neutralized, the leader reported. Well done. We've stopped them from reaching the colonies. Now let's get those Rex tractor beamed in for analysis. There was an edge to his voice. They all realized the implications of what they'd seen. This small force could be just the first scout group for a full-scale invasion. As Sam guided his scarred raptor back toward Archimond, shock and adrenaline were replaced by growing dread. Humankind had always known the wormhole could one day bring contact with unknown alien civilizations. But to have them emerge with weapons blazing, clearly intending to attack human settlements, was the worst-case scenario. Yet, the very fact these aliens had found the wormhole across Interstellar Gulf and then marshaled a force to send through it, showed they possessed technology far beyond humanities. Any wider conflict could be disastrous. As Guardian Squadron headed home to refit and report, Sam wondered if they had the power to truly stand against what might come through the wormhole next. The colonies beyond relied on them as their first and last line of defense. Looking at his missile supply readout blinking at zero, he hoped the day's losses and expenditure hadn't already doomed the mission humanity needed him to fulfill. Over the coming weeks, analysis of the wreckage provided little optimism the crystalline materials and particle weaponry were far beyond human science. Efforts to backtrace the aliens' wormhole jump were unsuccessful. Their home system remained unknown. Defensive preparations began in earnest. Squadrons were doubled. The Archimonde's armament expanded. New weapons and early warning systems deployed. But it still might not be enough. Two months later, Sam's sensors lit with a massive wormhole entry flare. Over 100 alien ships surged into view, led by a Wan Chem, long command ship, 
He swallowed, arming weapons and angling to intercept as Guardian Squadron rushed to meet this battle group head. On. Mankind's defenses would be tested as never before. As he closed with the alien warships, Sam steeled himself for the fight of his life. Failure today would mean the massacre of the colonies and eventual invasion of Earth itself. Despite being outnumbered, Guardian Squadron fought valiantly, every pilot willing to die to inflict maximum damage. In that they succeeded, destroying over a third of the alien force at the cost of their own lives. But their heroic sacrifice could not ultimately prevent the command ship and remaining escorts from advancing through the wormhole toward the unsuspecting colonies beyond. Sam slammed his fists down in anguish as his interceptor was destroyed. But even in his last moments, he prayed someone would find a way to stand against the alien menace and protect humanity from the doom he had seen in the enemy's unfeeling eyes. There was still hope while any humans drew breath. Gazing at the looming enemy command ship, as his ejection seat rocketed clear of the blast, he knew the battle was lost today. But the war had only just begun.